CBDA, and why it is different from CBD. We've discussed CBD, CBDA, CBG, and CBGA in a blog post available on our website. We found that CBDA is actually the precursor to CBD and stands for cannabidiolic acid. How CBDA and THCA become CBD and THC. CBDA becomes CBD through a process called decarboxylation, which heats up the plant during this process changing the acidic CBDA into non-acidic CBD. The same can also be said about THCA and THC with THCA being the predecessor of THC. In products like capsules, tinctures, and topical products CBDA can be found. When ingested by the body they will be able to directly bind with the CB1 and CB2 receptors in the human body. How can CBDA help you? Cannabidiolic acid, CBDA, is not as known as other cannabinoids like CBD and THC, however, in recent years studies into CBDA have proven to show it benefits people who suffer from inflammation, anxiety, seizures and certain types of cancers. CBDA is fast becoming a new area for use in cannabidiol therapy. Research is only small at the moment as it is still a relatively new compound discovered in 1955. Dr. Raphael Mekulam and his team's research. Sadly even though therapeutic benefits have been discovered, it hasn't been a viable treatment because it is an unstable compound, which means gradual decarboxylation can occur at room temperature which shows it isn't a viable option. However, in recent years Professor Raphael Mekulam and his team have found a way to turn unstable CBDA into a more stable and viable option for therapeutic treatments. Thank you for watching our latest video, we hope you enjoyed and learned something new, feel free to like and subscribe to stay updated on any new uploads and remember to also consult a medical professional if you have any more questions.